Hi, I'm Dennis Gage, and welcome to My Classic Car. Well, this week we're down in Kenner, Louisiana, just north of New Orleans, for an event called Back to the Beach. This weekend-long gala benefits the restoration and preservation of Lake Pontchartrain and its shoreline. And today, that shoreline is ringed with some really cool cars. I love coming down here because both the food and the folks are so fine. So let's get around and check out some of these cool Creole rides. Hey fam, how you doing? Hi Dennis, how you doing? I'm doing great. It's a hot one today though. Oh, mighty hot. <laughs> hot time down in New Orleans. Actually, we're yes. in Kenner, right? Correct. It's a suburb of New Orleans, about 35 miles out of New Orleans. And back to the beach, what's the background? It's for, it's for Pontchartrain, right? Right. Save our lake, save our coast, which is Lake Pontchartrain. And we had the lake kind of saved, but then we had to open up the spillway and all the river went into it and save our coast. Katrina kind of did a little damage. Yeah, well, you guys had some hard times. <laughs> yes. But this is great that you're, you're doing this benefit, uh, you know, for the area and, and this has been going on for a while right yes we've been doing this now for nine years and um this year we got about close to 500 cars so far yeah, that's a lot <laughs> and then no, nobody seems to be like i'm wilton you know <laughs> but everybody else i guess y'all are used, we to, used it down. to this we used to it down here yes. in july we'll we'll yeah, complain they're right <laughs> yeah this is nothing this is the springtime so so our car is mostly local or do you bring people from here ways. today on this show, it's, it's a lot of local, but we bring a lot in from all over Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Pensacola, and Texas. We well, got great cars here, and what a beautiful setting. This breeze coming off the lake, I think I might just hang out right about here today and see if I can stay cool at all. But well, what do you say we look at a few cars before I completely wilt away? Okay. All right, let's go. Okay. Well, Wayne, she's going to be a hot one today, oh, so yeah. it's probably good to have a fire truck here. <laughs> <laughs> so we're looking at what? Uh, this is a Model A, right? Model AA. AA. Yeah. 1929. 29. And is this one that, that lived its life down here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was originally bought uh, by the West Carrollton Volunteer Fire Company uh, in 1930. Brand new. Wow. And it's a Ford chassis. And how was the base of the pump and the body manufacturer put it all together as a fire truck? That's cool. It's white, though. Yeah, all our fire trucks are white. Third District has never followed the standards. <laughs> um, Gee, what a we were the first ones with white fire trucks. It reflects the heat better. Yeah, yeah. And now there's there's a bunch of fire companies out huh. there that are white now. Well, it's it's yeah. you know I mean she looks beautiful. You guys did a great job in the restoration. But you know here she's uh, she's pretty basic. You know, yeah. buckboard mm -hmm. seat, Model A cluster. Cluster, yep. Yeah. And, uh, and is this the, is this the pump? Yeah, it's a Waters pump. That's the name brand. Pumps 300 gallons a minute. Still works. We've got it all working. Your tank? The tank is uh, about a hundred gallon. You wow. know. man! Uh, I mean, it's, I, I could just imagine showing up to a fire back in the day with with something yeah. like this. I mean, well, this was, that was the thing. I mean, this was the top line truck. Well, it's nice gold leaf too. It's, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, you really trimmed it out nice. Would it would it have been this decked out in in, in thirty and twenty nine? Some of them do. Some of them don't. Yeah. This one wasn't. But if you look at the, a lot of the pictures of the original trucks and all, they some were. of them have them decked out like wow. this. So powering it, still the Model A four-cylinder? Mm -hmm. Yeah, original engine. Let's go look at that, baby. Yeah. Open her up, Wayne. Okay. There she is. That, you know, that is it. That's basically a Model A, isn't it? That's it, yeah. <laughs> Real <laughs> simple. Well, it's, that's the great thing about them. And they, they, yeah. they, they're easy to keep running. There's parts available for them. And oh, yeah. They made yeah. a heck of a lot of them. And we got the, it's a six-volt uh, positive ground system. Still, huh? We didn't, we didn't change it. Wow. The gener it's not alternator, it's a generator. Positive, <laughs> boy, you guys, you are old school, aren't you? Yeah, oh yeah. Look, <laughs> so we, is this thing big hit whenever you have it out? Yeah, it is, it is. The kids love it. <laughs> um, yeah, we put it, we got like, one of the schools over there has got a neighborhood parade, we put it put in. Put it in that. Yeah. Gotta be a hit, man. Hey, thanks for bringing it out. Nice, thank you. Thank 1929 you. Ford Model AA Fire That's Truck. Right. That's it. <laughs> it's a hot time. <laughs> Mike, this is a great old school gasser. What am I looking at here? 55 Chev, right? Right. Now, are you are you an old time drag racer or what? Why, have you always wanted one of these? What's the what's the deal? Grew up with a 
in Laplace with a drag strip about five to seven miles from my house. Remember, I'm racing all through the day, loved them when I was in high school. Had numerous cars in my life and always wanted a nostalgic looking gather from back in the day. And, and, that's, and that's what you got now. Well, that's what I tried to <laughs> Did you build it? I bought it out of Wisconsin, uh -huh. but I did a whole lot of work to it to, to make it like I wanted it to be. Turn it the way and you, turn it your right. memory I said remember it should, how be. It should yeah, be. Yeah, right, and that's what I did. Well, the two-tone blue paint job's really nice. Did it come that way, or it came painted like this? But we resanded the whole car, we recleared it, we rebuffed it. I changed numerous things on a paint that how I wanted it to be. Yeah, I love the metal flake uh, roof on it too, because that's that's another kind of period trick on there. And, and I love your interior too, man. You, you carried the uh, the metal flake into the inside. You know, your dash and your door panels and stuff. It's nice. Well, the white is old school rolling pleat. Uh -huh. And we were gonna put a roll cage in the car, but we made the car now where we can cruise. And it runs cool, runs great, plenty of horsepower, shifts good, rides smooth, and just oh, old man. school, you know? I mean, go to a lot of cruise on the coast and Panama City, we go to a lot of big shows that we like to ride around and travel in. You know? So you drive it there? Oh, I, this is no, streetable? I, I don't drive it I to didn't shows, think you but, drove, yeah. but I'll drive, <laughs> it, I'll drive it in a 50, 60, 70 mile radius. Uh huh. I like it, the carpet, the, the metal flake, and then, you know, Lawman? Lawman, yeah. <laughs> so it's, uh, what's the story of the name? Well, Lawman is because I've been in law enforcement for over 20 years. Oh, so and, you are the Lawman? Well, yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we had, uh, we also had names on these old nostalgic cars when they raced yeah. and i figured that'd be a perfect name it, for the car it is man and again just uh really simple but but you kept all the trim back here right just the trim around the windows was added and just a little uh piece on the back was just a little too cool just a little bit of spunk to let people look yeah, at it from the yeah. back you know? <laughs> and speaking of spunk let's go look at that engine that looked okay. pretty spunky up there too <laughs> Ooh, that's that's pretty tight clearance, but Very you did tight. it. Wow, that is that is stunning. What am I looking at? It says 327, is it? No, it's a, actually it's a 355. Uh -huh. Aluminum heads on it, but it was painted blue to match the time period. Correct the car instead of aluminum head showing. It's uh, about 475 horsepower, complete roller motor. Great headers. Well, we had them coated. We had the whole exhaust system coated going all the way into the back, making wow. have the nice little chrome look when you look under the fender wells. Yeah, and, and you know, you, you even got your metal flake here and the block and your valve covers. Right. You know, and with the fender wells gone, I see everything. Very drivable, very streetable, very big ro hydraulic roller cam where you can have that good nasty sound and still be drivable <laughs> and go where you want to go without any heating problem. But you got that nasty sound. Got that nasty sound. Pinstriping inside. I, I, I just, I love the look of this. And you do, you do clear it nicely. I tell you, man. I, it, it looks good. 55 Chev, old school gasser. Old Lawman school. from the Lawman. There you go. <laughs> well, Van, this is a this is one big bird. 72 Thunderbird. This is one of the biggest birds they ever built, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's the first year that Lee Iacocca decided bigger is better. <laughs> it's it's a monster. It's just it's absolutely huge. In fact, not only is it you know almost the size of a Lincoln, but it's really built on the same platform, isn't it? It is. Or the inner fender come off from Lincoln Mark IV. Is that right? Wow. Yeah. And inside here, we have a big Lincoln 460 cubic inch engine. And that's the only reason I rebuilt it, because it had the big, the big engine. big 460, yeah. Well, uh, you know, the 72s, it's actually a pretty rare car. You don't see many of them around. And, and especially, this is an interesting color. A lot of metal flake, brown, what do they call it? Ginger bronze metallic. Ginger bronze metallic. Even on the wheel covers that's oh yeah yeah that's, that's really all nice. that's all stock that's the way it came from detroit nice trim dot and i love the pinstripe but you know the other thing that sets it off i think is the white top and the, the white door molding did she come that way uh, no this uh this was dark brown Ooh. and this was dark brown and brown into triple brown yes sir and to liven it up i said no we just got to put some white on there you oh, know looks, so, yeah. so the white matches the the original pinstripes. Oh, yeah. By the way, that's not tape, that's the that's, real paint. That's the real deal, man. Well, yeah. And then, you know, it, it, the interior, luxurious brown leather, and about as, uh, you know, about the, as cushy as it gets. This interior, the leather seats, the back, the front, the dashboard, everything is original. This was one of those those rim blow steering wheels, right? Try to find somebody that can redo <laughs> that properly, you know? Not, not it had easy. to go to California because nobody around here had any idea about it. She looks really comfortable. Oh, it's just like a big, it's a big mule. Big the, mule. The mule is <laughs> called on the International Vintage Thunderbird Club. <laughs> but she looks great. And you got the Landau bars. And you know, 
Van, even though the taillights went all the way across in 72, it was no longer sequential, right? No, sir. They're just no. blink, blink, that's it. That, that's yeah. it. Now you said you got the big one, the 460 in there. Yes, sir, 460 cubic inches in there. Let's go look at that baby. About nine miles to the gallon. Yeah, <laughs> on a good day. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's a big, that's a big long hood. Yes, hey, it is. Hey, man, that looks nice. That's a big engine, 460, but there's so much room in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And when you get this thing up at 70 or 80 miles an hour, you don't even know you're doing it. You know, it's just a magnificent feeling on the highway. Boom. Yeah, well, <laughs> you can take a lick and keep on ticking. I tell you, man, this, you may call it the mule. It is the mule. The mule. The mule. It, I think it is one beautiful bird, if you ask me. 72, T-Bird, thanks, man. Hey, awesome. my pleasure. Thank awesome you. It's been car. a pleasure and honor. Joey, this is a sweet machine here. 65 Plymouth Satellite Convertible. You do not see many of these cars. No, you don't. I like it. And, it's, you know, she looks fine. Now, have you had this long? No, as a matter of fact, I just purchased it in February. Well, and you were saying that you you just were back from your, what, second deployment in Iraq, Second right? deployment. And was this kind of a, a treat for yourself? Kind of a welcome home. I, and, and welcome home. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, she's in nice shape. The bright works good, and the, you know this light, uh, I think that's all aluminum there, mm -hmm. is usually beat to crap, but it, it looks pretty solid. Pretty good. Yeah, I like it a lot. And uh, you know, the, obviously been repainted. Mm -hmm. Interior sure looks pretty fresh, but I think this kind of cream and red goes nicely together. Yes. You've still got a completely original dash. I've been trying to hunt down an original radio. They're out this there. particular car. Yeah, you're still going to want the modern tunes though. You're oh, gonna, definitely, <laughs> definitely. But put the put the original in there for show. Mm -hmm. But you got to have something for, for modern tunes. I like the console shifter and everything. That's that's cool. And is and a, and a console tack too, which it, is stock, huh? It looks like it was. Now is this fun to drive? Beautiful. I tell you what, you get out on an open road and this thing just glides across the road. It's unbelievable. <laughs> and you feel good in it, too. You feel good, <laughs> yes. Wind yeah. blowing through your head, it's yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. So it's great. And back here, it's, you know, she's all Mopar. You know, you still got the original tail lights and everything. I mean, it, it, this is a nice ride. I imagine this came with a 318 originally? Correct. Still sporting a 318? Still. Let's go have a look. Let's go. There she is. There she is. 318. You know, that's a that's a really good engine. Everybody always wants to throw something bigger in there, mm -hmm. but that's plenty to move this car around, and they're very reliable. Yes, they are. My plan is to uh, make it classy. Classy. You know, I want to be able to open this hood and everybody go, wow. <laughs> the whole car is, you know, is fairly wow, if you ask me. Yes. And it looks like it's a, an absolute blast to drive down. You've been to Back to the Beach before? Yes, I have. It's a nice show. Yes, it is. It's uh, wonderful. You, now, you, you sound like you're from around here, are you? Yes, I am. Local. Yeah. Local boy? Mm-hmm. Well, you guys got it going on down here. The food, the folks, it's just, it's great, man. Great place to live. Yeah. Hey, appreciate your service. Appreciate your car. No problem. 65. Thank you very seven. much. Thanks, Joey. Well, Frank, this is a eye-catching little piece here. It's a 36 Chevy pickup, right? Yep. Man, kind of peachy color. Apricot. Right? Apricot, yep. okay. I like how you've trimmed it out in, in teal. That's a nice contrasting color, but then you've got that stripe there too. It's a which root is bear. With a fade on it. Mm -hmm. Man, well this is, you know, this is really, really a sweet machine, and I imagine it gets a fair amount of attention. Oh yeah, I think the color has a lot to do with it, because it, it just, it's different. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is that. And yeah, and I guess the other fact is it's, you know, you see a lot more Ford pickups than you see Chevs, so it's yeah. just kind of random. Now, is it chopped? Because it looks pretty low. No, it's a, it's actually a low cab pickup. Wow, so that was, that's it's how the factory she was. Height, yeah. Pretty nice. Boyd's wheels. Mm -hmm. and I like the interior, too. It's a, a fabric and leather it's, kind It's of? leather and tweed, yeah. 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 And what's your shifter? A low car shifter knob with a pro stick shifter. Uh-huh, and tilt column. Mm -hmm. You know, your, your gauges are, are, are nicely laid out. You still got the stock placement of the glove compartment too, don't you? Yeah, the air conditioning's under. Aha! Because <laughs> <laughs> you need AC down yeah. here. Yeah. You do need AC. And the bed's nice too. Is that, that's an oak, right? It's a uh, red oak with um, antique red stain with a satin spar varnish. Yeah, because it's really smooth. I mean, is that tough to do? No, it's not too bad. You know, I build cabinets. So. Oh, well, then it's not tough for you at all, I imagine. So not a lot going on back here. It's pretty clean except for your 36 graphic. Mm -hmm. But those taillights aren't. It's a 1939 Chevy. 39, okay. And how about the, the fenders? Are, are they steel? Or? No, the fenders and the running board are fiberglass and everything else is original steel. 
Man, it's awful nice. But you know, we, we didn't really mention much about that power plant up front, but let's go look at that. It looked pretty right. serious. So what, a, what am I looking at here? 350? 355. 355? And then a... It's a 671 blower. Couple Two of 600 hollies. carbs. Nice. But you know, you even got that uh, teal and your apricot mm -hmm. detailing on the carbs. Your block is, is the apricot. I mean, it's a really very color-coordinated machine. Yeah, and you do drive it, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, I respect every, that. Every weekend. <laughs> right? That is a very nice 36 Chevy pickup. Thank you. Hey, we had a lot of fun here at Back to the Beach down in Kenner, Louisiana. There are some great cars at this event. And believe me, these folks know how to party. Or as they say down here, potty. You got to check this one out.